Hey Josh, uh, the site that I want to show you is called formative or goformative.com and um, the reason I'm making this video is I want you to see how easy it is to add content and questions. So the first thing I'm going to do, this is my dashboard um, where you could have different classes and, and that sort of thing, but I'm going to go into a fake class that I've created. I could add students into this if I wanted. I don't have to either. Um, and you know, if, if it's something that you like, we can talk about the pros and cons at a different time. Um, but I'm going to start a new assignment. So I just hit new assignment and uh, I'm going to title it. I'm just going to call it, uh, let's do Mr. Davis quiz one or I think that's what the file is called. So Mr. Davis quiz one and I could, if I wanted to, I could add, start adding questions and content right now. So if I click add content, I can bring in an image. I can, you know, add a text uh, block or a whiteboard, which is really cool with our Chromebooks because it gives you a basically a digital whiteboard. So you could maybe give them an example problem or something, and it's your handwriting, your method, your style. And you'll see here in a little bit, it'll be actually built right into your assignment. Or you can obviously bring in a YouTube video. Um, you can add a question at this point, uh, you, you know, multiple choice, show your work, which is awesome. It allows them to be able to, you know, base, especially with the, the touch screen of the new Chromebooks, they can literally show you what they're doing, you know, short answer, true, false, kind of normal sites, normal stuff. You don't have to use these options, but you could, you know, just build from blank here, you know, if you wanted to build an exit slip or something like that. But what I'm going to show you is this upload and transform. So I'm going to click that and I'm actually going to bring in the quiz file that you sent me. Um, so here it is, uh, the quiz number one version A. So I'm going to open that up and you know, it takes a little bit to um, bring in the document. Not too, not too bad actually though. So here it comes. It looks uh, exactly like your quiz. So it just brought in that Microsoft Word file. So at this point, I have, see how I get this little plus sign on my cursor? Anywhere in this document, I can put whatever I want. You know, so um, I could literally give them a box right here and I could say add a question and I could do short answer. And this is going to basically allow them to be able to put in their name. Okay, um, I can. I'm not going to have any points associated with this because it's just their name. But it's going to allow them to put their name on it digitally. You'll you'd also have their name attached, you know, on, on the file type or whatever. Um, so I'm going to hit done and see how that just goes away. And the kids would literally on their end click on this number one. It expand allow them to type in there. So any like literally anywhere. So if you wanted to right up here, like give them some examples, you could click and start adding some content. You get those same options. So, you know, you could throw in an image, um, a text block. Again, you could give them an example problem if you wanted or, you know, little tips and tricks. And you're just writing on your screen uh, of your touch screen of, of your flip Chromebook. So it's, it's pretty nice. Um, we're not going to do that for right now. Uh, so in here, you know, looking at, th at this type of question, question um, you know I can right here where I want I'm gonna click I'm gonna add a question and I'm just gonna probably give them a sh either short answer or show your work and uh, just that allows them to write in um, so I'm just gonna click show your work I can um, type the question text here but I don't need to because it's right on the the document uh, this is awesome on the show your work you can add a background image um, so like if you wanted to bring in you know a coordinate grid or any anything like that for them to work on top of it's really really slick and you can adjust your point so we're gonna leave this one out of five I'm just making stuff up I'm gonna hit done and again it it you know minimizes for you and the kids are just going to see this number two and they know they're going to click on it and be able to put in a question there. So you can go through this whole, you know, this whole thing like this. Um, you know, so I'm going to put in some different things because um, let's just do a short answer. Again, I'm not doing anything. I'm just clicking and putting basically making fields where they can put in, you know, answers. And I'm, I'm just going around here kind of messing around. Let's skip a few. Um, come down here to like this one where you want them to show their work, you know, of how they got, you know, which, which company she, she should choose, Acme or Widget. So I'm just going to click down here and I'm going to add a question. And again, I'm going to give them, you know, show, show your work. And I don't, I'm not going to type in anything here. You could if you wanted to, but it's totally up to you. Again, I could add a background, whatever. Uh, so I'm just going to 
you know, do five points. So you could go through and put in as many questions and content into this as you want. I don't want to waste your time showing you because you can see it's the same process. Uh, so at this point, we've built our assignment. So we can preview it. So this is what it's going to look like on the on the um, kids side of things. It looks exactly the same. And, you know, I've I've got zero out of fifteen. Uh, my three questions that I've got going on here. And as a student, you know, if I wanted to answer this, I just click on the three. It expands, and I can start typing in here. You know, here here comes my answer. Um, I'm going to come down here as a student, and so as a student, if I want this to go away, I just uh, click on that. Well, I believe, there we go, I click there and see how it, it goes back up so they can see the form again. I'm going to come down here and just play, you know, I'm going to open this up. It's a, just a digital white space. I can choose my color. I, as a student, I can bring in a picture. I can put in a text box, whatever. I'm just going to click on the pencil and, you know, I, I'm using my trackpad. So this is a little bit tougher, but with their touchscreen Chromebooks, this would be super super slick and super easy for them you know so they can put in anything they want this just go this box goes forever um, but when they're done again they just hit this and it minimizes it out of their view and but their answer is saved on this worksheet for you so it's it's you know that's just a preview so you can see what it's looking like from the student end and then you can assign it so when I click on assign um, I can you know I'm gonna go into that assignment so I'm gonna go to my math class again, here is the quiz that we just made. And from here, I can do a couple of things. I can assign it to a class. So if I had a class where kids were actually enrolled in that class, it would push it out to them. Or I can give them a link. So I click on this link. Here's the link right here. And what's sweet about this, I'm just going to copy it. I could paste it into my Google Classroom. And by doing so, uh, the students could just click on that link, and it's going to open this document exactly like you're seeing on this site. It's actually going to take them right into this site. The only drawback is you have to do any of your assessing within this site. Um, that's the only drawback that I'm seeing at this point. But I'm going to actually go ahead and just copy this and I'm going to send you an email with this link to this quiz so you can try it. Um, I'll send you the, obviously the link to this video and um, the, the GoFormative website. So if you're interested, you can check it out. But, um, you know, when you have time, look at it and let's, let's, kind of talk about it, see if this is something that you see as being useful. And I just want to kind of bounce things off you um, as we get ready to, you know, unveil a bunch of stuff in, in our one-to-one -one rollout. So we'll, we'll talk to you soon, man. All right, bye.